Hello my dear students, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. Those who are not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel immediately. In this session, I am going to discuss uh, video syllabus of uh, 21 scheme of, for the second semester. The subject name Advanced Calculus and Numerical Methods. The subject code is 21, MAT 21. Along with this, I am going to discuss uh, easy way to pass uh, the subject code uh, 21 mat uh, 21 also you can have the awareness how to score minimum mark 60 marks in uh, 21 mat 21 so this is the syllabus actual syllabus advanced calculus uh, and uh, numerical methods so subject code is uh, 21 mat uh, 21 so in module 1 this is what uh, module 1 module 1 is of uh, integral uh, calculus integral calculus so here in the syllabus you have multiple integrals and uh, another topic called uh, beta and uh, gamma function so if you are not able to solve uh, the problems on uh, 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 multiple integrals you can leave that topic and if you concentrate only on the topic called uh, beta and gamma function you can get the marks you can score the marks minimum of seven marks you can score minimum seven marks so when i move on to uh, module two vector calculus in the vector calculus there is again uh, two topics you are going to discuss uh, vector differentiation vector differentiation and vector integration so in this uh, topic uh, you are going to have differentiation part and uh, integration part so if you are not well aware with the uh, integration if you concentrate only on uh, vector differentiation you can score minimum of uh, 14 marks you can score minimum of 14 marks by just uh, studying uh, gradient uh, diversion uh, directional derivatives curl grad and divergence solenoidal irrotational all these things if you study this topics you can score minimum of 14 marks in this module so when i move on to module 3 called uh, partial differential equation which is also named as uh, pde we will name that as uh, pde so here in this module you can concentrate only on the derivation part of uh, one dimensional uh, heat equation and uh, wave equation if you feel uncomfortable to solve uh, pde so you can go with the only derivation part and you can score minimum of 7 marks minimum of 7 marks in module 4 a numerical method here in, here in this module i will not uh, tell to omit uh, any uh, topic uh, here you should study all the topic if you uh, as it is an easy topic in this uh, semester you should study all the topics definitely you will score at 20 marks similarly in module uh, 5 also numerical methods uh, 2 the continuation part of uh, module 4 so here also you should not leave any topic so then you can score 20 marks uh, yeah, you can score a maximum uh, 20 marks in this module so totally if you go with uh, adding uh, some of all these uh, values that module you are having uh, 7 uh, so in the second module you are having 14 so in the first module 7 uh, in the second module uh, you are going to score uh, 14 in the third module uh, again 7 in the in the last two in the last two modules you are going to score uh, 20 20 so overall you are going to score 20 plus 20 40 40 plus uh, 40 is plus 7 47 47 plus uh, 7 54 54 plus uh, 14 so totally 68 marks definitely you can score 68 marks how i am going to tell you in that way if you study definitely you can score 50 marks and uh, main thing my dear students you no need to study the self study part uh, in each module no need to study the self study part of uh, any module so do, now if i consider uh, the model question paper which has been released by vtu for the scheme called uh, 21 scheme uh, so if i go with uh, module 1 as i told you that if you study just uh, beta gamma function definitely you can score as uh, i told you right 
definitely you can score seven marks. As there is a choice, either uh, you will get uh, definitely uh, you are going to get seven marks from beta gamma function. So that is what uh, seven marks I told you. Mainly, also mainly I can say that uh, if you study derivation also, uh, if you just concentrate on derivation of beta and gamma function and uh, finding gamma of one by two and problems on uh, little bit uh, problems on beta gamma function, definitely it is easy to score seven marks. Then if I move on to module 2, as I told you that uh, concentrate on curl, grad, divergence, directional derivatives, irrotational, solenoidal. If you study all these topics, definitely you can score 20 marks, but I am not going with uh, 20 marks, maximum are 20 marks. I am taking only uh, 14 marks out of 40 marks. I am taking only 14 marks. So you may, there is a chance of doing mistakes. That's why I'm considering only 40 marks. If you study irrotational, definitely you will score 7 marks. If you study divergence and curl, how to find divergence, curl and grad of any function or uh, any vector or any scalar quantity, then you can get uh, 7 marks. If you find uh, the directional derivatives uh, of the given uh, scalar function by using a given vector, so you can score uh, 6 marks. So it is easy to score 20 out of 20. But in in case if you fail to uh, solve some problems so that's why i'm putting a margin of uh, 14 marks you can exclude uh, the integration part totally so if i move on to module 3 so as i told you that uh, earlier you just concentrate on uh, derivation of uh, uh, one dimensional heat equation or wave equation so one derivation will be compulsory so you can score uh, seven marks here so this is uh, one thing in module 3. So when you move on to module 4, as I told you that uh, don't take uh, any options uh, in the module 4. Uh, which question you prefer uh, easy, then you can uh, choose that uh, choice there. So if you study regular false method, one question will be there. So simultaneously an uh, alternate choice uh, for regular false is uh, newton raphson method will be there. If you study Newton backward, uh, if you study Newton backward, automatically you can learn uh, forward, Newton uh, forward interpolation. So that is one uh, one thing. So with this option, there will be an Lagrange, uh, Lagrange's interpolation formula. Along with uh, Newton's backward and uh, forward uh, interpolation formula. So you are going to have an option, Lagrange's interpolation formula. Then you have Simpson's uh, 1 by 3rd rule and uh, Simpson's uh, 3 by 8 rule. So, don't take chance uh, in uh, studying uh, uh, last part called Simpson's 1 by 3rd rule and uh, 3 by 8 rule. Uh, study both the things and uh, then you can choose uh, uh, the, have the option in your examination. So, this is the thing I want to tell in uh, module 4 in numerical methods 1. So, totally if you study all, uh, if you study all the things and if you uh, solve all the problems, definitely you can score uh, 20 out of uh, 20 in this uh, module. So once again, I will tell you, my dear students, if you study regular false, there will be an option for regular false as Newton Raphson method. For Newton's backward or forward interpolation, you are going to have an option called uh, Lagrange's interpolation formula. Uh, next thing, uh, if you study uh, Simpson's one by third rule, uh, there will be an there will be an option with uh, Simpson's three by eight. This is the way of uh, uh, question paper setting. There will be an uh, interchange also. They can interchange uh, the questions. Instead of asking 7th uh, uh, BS uh, Newton backward, they can also ask Lagrange's uh, interpolation formula. Instead of asking 7th C new, uh, so Simpson's 1 by 3rd rule, they can ask 3 uh, by 8 rule or they can also leave as it is uh, Simpson's 1 by 3rd rule. So that is an uh, probability. So, uh, chance factor may be anything there uh, while asking the question. When I move on to module 5, here also I told you that not to leave any topic of uh, numerical methods too. So, if you study Taylor series uh, method, if you study say a Taylor series uh, method to solve uh, any differential equation, there will be an option with that uh, modified Euler's method, modified Euler's method. Then 
if you study rk method that is called as runge kutta method uh, again you are going to get uh, your runge kutta method if you study miller's uh, predictor and corrector method there will be an uh, another question here also miller's predictor method so here only three methods you are going to study that is what taylor's runge kutta and miller's predictor corrector method so along with you can study uh, modified oilers method if you are not comfortable you can leave this thing and be confirm and make him practice more practice on solving these three concepts uh, that is what uh, taylor series rk method and uh, uh, miller's predictor corrector method then definitely you can score 20 out of 20 from this module so finally i can say that uh, uh, after uh, solving uh, all these problems i can say that you can score out of 100 marks out of 100 you can score definitely 68 marks or or approximately you can score uh, 60 marks definitely you can score 60 marks no doubt in that so be prepared if you are prepared very well you can score very good marks more than whatever i have told uh, if you are not prepared very well uh, definitely it will be an hardcore to score uh, 60 or 35 marks so be prepared with the uh, the thing whatever the content you have be prepared with that content so i am also coming with uh, solving uh, these model question paper in future be thorough with your uh, way of approaching the answer in the examination be have a confidence uh, in solving uh, each problems don't be get uh, confused or don't be nervous in your examination uh, thinking that uh, mathematics is very difficult my dear students be feel free to ask any questions uh, regarding mathematics of uh, your respective semester i will be free to answer at any time and finally thank you for watching this video patience thank you all